Yes, it was a rainy day. Yep, welcome to the season, eh, Kiki? Hey, let the games begin. Let the rain begin. And we didn't know it yet, but this was going to be the last day we saw our dear friend Tiki. The thunder eventually gave way to one of the biggest lightning shows we had seen in a very long time. And I noticed Tiki was seeming a little bit unsettled, so I went to bring her inside earlier than usual. Well, something spooked her and she jumped off my hand and the next thing I knew she was a hundred feet in the air and on her way to shore. You can see where town is here and she flew right up past that building, just past where the sun is and that tower. Right there, that one tower up on the hill. Right there, and she landed somewhere around that tower. And she went down there somewhere. I never go to this antenna. <clears throat> oh yes? She went down at that antenna, yeah. This is the first point Tiki Landing. We are going to search in this area first. Binoculars. Captain say nothing happened to this because kill us. So this is the video we were hoping we would never have to make, but here we are. In real time, it's about two months now since Tiki disappeared, and we thought we were we were hopeful that we would have found her by now because we've been all over the island posting notices and offering rewards. I mean, we started with a pretty good reward. We thought it was what we could afford at the time was two million pesos, which is about 250 US dollars. And then some of our patrons came along and helped us raise that by double. So we had the reward up to 5 million pesos, but still we never had any luck and any uh, information returned to us on the island so far. So the next announcement I have to make is that we have another crew coming on board yet that is not here. And this little girl you can see right here is Baby Gray. We haven't named her yet. She's still with the breeder in Canada. I found somebody in Canada that I really liked and decided, you know, I know you guys know now that Lucky passed a little while ago. But I certainly felt like I needed a successor to Lucky on board, so I hope you guys will support me in that. And we're going to be bringing Baby Gray down soon. I haven't named Baby Gray yet, because actually I think I might even get you guys involved in that. I've got a few names in mind, nothing specific that I'm really attached to 100% yet. I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with as a cute name for a female Baby Gray African parrot. So if you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below, I'd love to hear. We're still hopeful, but it's been a long time, but yeah, Tiki's cage is still here every day open and just waiting that hopefully she'll find her way back. But I know from past experience with her, she's flown off before, but she doesn't know how to find her way home. She has no idea where home is. She just flies as long as she can and lands somewhere and then waits for us to come and pick her up. And it's like, hey, where's my dinner? So she doesn't really have any survival skills or anything. Hopefully she has a survival instinct. If there's one good thing, at least we were here during rainy season, so she should have an adequate supply of water almost everywhere, and all the trees are full of fruits. So if she survived this long, she's already figured out how to sustain herself with water and food. Fingers crossed. But I just wanted to say, I'll apologize up front, that we're going to put a couple of extra YouTube advertisements in this video. Just because we're trying to raise a bit more capital, because we'd like to double the reward again for one last ditch effort before we have to leave the island in about a month or so. So that's our intention. If you guys don't mind helping out with that, we certainly appreciate it. If you don't mind watching the whole video, even watch it two or three times, it will certainly help us with that task. So you'll see a lot of this video was filmed by Danny because, well, we weren't really in the mood to film when we were just out trying to fine tiki but uh, many thanks to brother Danny because he's been a big help in all of this and searching the island every day so now we'll get back to the video thanks again everybody there's Maddie in there talking to some of the locals one of the stores 
And we're just circulating our way through around La Loma. Nothing yet. It's like a needle in a haystack, unfortunately. Stop seeing a barrel here. Tell us soon. Now you see that green bird? Ah, it's a pigeon. One iguana. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Are we moving? Are we moving? In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. We can see a lot of kinds of birds. This is the most concentration of three in the direction with Captain C. The, the last time, the, the Tiki. Last time. No ha visto el oro gris, no. Tiki. Salir, no ladras. Y alora hizo igualito. Y yo voy allí. Oh, this woman look tiki in this antenna. Hello, my friend. Hello. My friend, uh, somebody looks tiki. Oh, she said she was gray? He, she say, repeat of the dog say. And one hour ago, and, and she say is fly. If she comes home, we leave the door open. But no tiki so far. We're still waiting, eh, buddy? Tiki. Still waiting. Tiki. Tiki. Tiki, 
Next rescue mission. Tiki, here we come. Woohoo! We're coming for you, little girl. Yeah, can't sail with this one though. Gotta fly. Uh, How long are you going for? So we're just doing a quick mission up to Canada. It's gonna be three days. I'm gonna fly up there today. It's Friday. It's Monday. We go and pick up Tiki at the airport and keep her overnight at my parents' place. And then Tuesday. We will head down to uh, the airport again and fly back to St. Martin. And then we'll have a baby bird! Got her out of the airport, out of the cargo section. <laughs> Came in a big box. Hey girl. Yeah, almost midnight. Time for sleep. We got an early start in the morning. Now we got the flight to St. Martin.
<laughs> so how's it going everybody? This is just a quick little, we'll call it a news update. It's Sunday afternoon. This one's coming at you in real time. So it's Sunday, October. <laughs> Never mind. It's Sunday, September 11th. Sorry, not October. Right deep. And yeah, a couple of cool things have happened this week. So we got a few things going on. Of course, you haven't really seen much of Tiki yet. I know she's here. She's doing well. Really settling in, finding her place, having fun. She's very friendly, very affectionate. I'm very surprised actually for such a young parrot. She's only, she's nine months old this month. So that's cool. Hey, you cleaning my ears? <laughs> Yeah, which one do you do first? <laughs> there you go. There you got it. Good girl. <laughs> You're balancing on the tightrope. Woohoo. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, was that fun? Was that fun? Yeah, something new, huh? Yeah, good girl. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> good girl. Hey, kisses? Hmm. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Tiki, where are you, Tiki? Tiki, still waiting. Tiki. 